My name is Liam Henry. I'm a resident of Mount Burke, Virginia. Go Berkies. And this was my apartment. This is what my apartment looks like today. Pretty empty, you can see. Two weeks ago, my roommate Adam was asked to terminate his lease agreement and vacate the property after we received numerous noise complaints from neighbors. About a month ago, he was diagnosed with night terrors. He would wake up in the middle of the night, screaming, and have no recollection of it the next day. I wasn't here the first few times that this happened. I stayed with my girlfriend a lot. But after this started happening more frequently, he asked me to start staying here. I thought he just wanted me to see what was going on so the doctors would believe him. But now I think he was just scared to be alone. The first night it happened while I was here, I woke up at about 2.30 and then I heard footsteps coming up the stairs between our rooms. I heard him walk over to his door, open the door, and then I heard it. It sounded like more than one voice, but I jumped up out of bed and I ran over to his room where I had heard the door open. I thought someone was in there. His door was closed and he was sleeping in his bed. I tried to wake him up, but he wouldn't move. The next morning, I confronted him and then he didn't remember anything. He's been gone for about two weeks now. Took most of his things, just moved out. Haven't heard from him. But the problem isn't going. I'm still waking up at night, hearing things that I can't explain, seeing things that scare me. I'll show you around. It's my bathroom, my bed where I sleep. It's my door. A few nights ago, I woke up and heard a bang looked over and turned the lights on and I saw these pictures slowly falling. At first I thought it was gravity but then I noticed this one down here at the bottom left. It began to move up. This is the hall. These are our stairs. As you can see my room is directly across the hall from his room which is not empty. He moved most of his things out Although he did leave a few, never came back for him. <sighs> it creeps me out just being in here. Nobody believes me. I'm setting up video cameras in my room, in his room, in the hallway with the stairs, and downstairs in our living room. going on here.
the store was closed and I went to sleep. And this morning it was open. I turned this TV off every night before I go to bed. And when I came downstairs this morning it was on. Pure static. Finally, Adam's room. This bathroom door was wide open last night. And now it's closed. Okay, night two. Hello? Hello, is someone there? Someone just knocked on my door several times. It's almost midnight. I'm the only one here. But there were several knocks on my door. When I went to answer the door, no one was there. I'm not crazy. I only noticed two things different this morning when I woke up from when I went to sleep. And that's that A, my door is open where it was closed when I fell asleep. And B, this roll of trash bags that Adam left behind is out in the middle of the floor downstairs. How did you get there?
I just watched the tapes from last night. I don't want to talk about it. If you're watching this, you saw it. My girlfriend called downtown. She set up an appointment for me to see a sleep therapy specialist. Honestly, I think she just wants a doctor to tell us that there's a reasonable explanation for it. There is no reasonable explanation. said it wasn't coinciding with any case of sleepwalking or night terrors they had ever seen. They advised me to lay off of alcohol and recreational drugs. They wouldn't even test my blood to see that I hadn't done anything. I was clean. <laughs> My closet door just opened up right behind me on its own. I'm scared. I don't know what else to do. I'm going to stay at my girlfriend's tonight. I'm going to leave the cameras set up here, and I'm taking this camera with me.